But Baron is an excellent starting class for anyone wanting to get into Dark and Darker. They boast the highest health in the game, deal massive damage, and have some strong tools to deal with the monsters in the dungeon. And this guide will cover all the basics you'll need to know to get your first escape in Dark and Darker. So firstly, why should you play Barbarian? You're tanky, you hit very hard, and you can make a couple of mistakes with traps and monster hits and not be totally screwed over. You also have a special ability where you can open boxes and doors by just smashing them open, which obviously feels really cool, but also, this allows us to get lots of loot but also traverse the map very quickly. If you're level 1, you're going to want to use the smash perk. This allows us to break doors and containers with our weapons. The Baron has a slow interaction speed, so opening these the normal way will be very slow for us. When you unlock more perks over time, I'd use the Axe Specialization as the top priority if you're using an Axe, followed by Savage if you're not wearing chest armor. Otherwise, Berserker, Toughness, and Two-Handed Weapon Expert are all good options. Mix and match to see what you like, as long as you're running Smash, you'll be fine. For skills, we're going to use the Rage and Savage Roar. Rage increases our damage and movement speed at the cost of a slight defense reduction. While Savage Roar fears the enemies around us, giving us ample time to land a couple of free shots on the enemy, but also keeping us safe. Gear can be quite complex, but at a base level, the best weapons in my opinion are the Felling Axe, due to its insane damage, and the Quarter Staff, because it has a really good balance of not being slow movement speed wise, but also dealing really good damage. And for the rest of the gear, aim for items that won't make us too too slow movement speed wise, but also give us strength, damage, and armor. Now for combat, always aim for the head for maximum damage, though the torso doesn't do that much less. We're not super fast, but we have enough movement speed to weave in and out of monsters' attack ranges. Simply stand still, wait for the monster to approach, and as they start their windup, walk backwards. Once the monster has completed their swing, walk forward and clobber them over the head. Most monsters will take 2-4 headshots to beat. If there are a group of monsters nearby, it's a great time to use a Savage Roar to focus on a target. I'd aim for the ranged monsters as they're the hardest to deal with and a lot of time deal the most damage. When it comes to finding other players, once you make contact with them, Keep holding forward. We're going to be slower than most other people in the lobby, so once we stick to them, we have to stay close. We'll only need two hits to kill a wizard or a rogue on average, or three to four to kill warriors or clerics. Your savage rule doesn't defeat other players, but it does make them do reduced damage, so don't be afraid to use it. Also, don't forget to use your rage. Rage gives us increased movement speed and more damage, and if they're out of range, throwing axes aren't a bad option either. Don't be discouraged if you die a lot early on. There's a lot to learn in this game, and as you gain perks, it'll become easier. You don't have to destroy every monster you see or beat every player in the lobby. You win by escaping. Some games you just have a full bag of loot from scavenging and that's about it. And other games you walk around and get 4 kills. Our goal is to escape, get some money and make future runs easier. Anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more Dark and Tucker content, make sure to follow the channel as I will post more as it comes out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.